guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a comparison between this YSL wristlet here compared to the YSL Uptown Clutch. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I've owned the Uptown Clutch for quite some time, and I definitely wanted to add another beige clutch to my collection. And for the longest time, I thought I was gonna get another Uptown Clutch, but I ended up getting this one. And ever since I got this one, a lot of you were like, hey, I'm torn between the Uptown Clutch or the wristlet. Let me know which one you like better. Can you do a comparison? And if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I love to do comparisons on my channel because I know these handbags can definitely be investment pieces. And if you're anything like me, I like to do my research ahead of time before I invest. So hopefully this will break it down for you. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a little bit about each bag. I'm going to compare them. I'm going to share with you what fits. I'm going to talk about the price. I'm going to share with you mod shots. I'm going to talk everything there is to know about these two bags so that way you guys can make an informed decision as to which clutch you want to get. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get right into the comparison. If you guys are familiar with my comparison videos, you know that I like to come up with a bunch of categories and I like to select a winner for each category and then at the end we tally it up and I tell you what the winner is. First, I want to start the video out by sharing with you a little bit about each bag just in case you are new to these bags I want to start with the beautiful uptown clutch right here so you can see this is the beautiful smooth Italian calfskin leather this is a really really nice bag because it's really really streamlined so there's not really much to it you just have the envelope opening on the front it does have a magnetic closure can see it's really really thin and then on the back it is just that glossy material and then you have the beautiful shiny YSL logo this comes in a variety of colors and you open it up and it is just one little compartment and it says Saint Laurent Paris so beautiful beautiful streamlined look then we have this little guy right here this is the newer one I picked up this is the gold tone hardware this is in the beige it is an envelope style it has the chevron quilting here it has the YSL gold shiny logo on the back it is the chevron quilting as well it has a button closure it has says Saint Laurent Paris and then on the inside it's pretty sizable there is a pocket back here in case you want to put a card holder and there is one large compartment and then it does have this strap right here which is removable if you do want to just carry it as a clutch or you can carry it as a wristlet and then it just closes like this so here are the two bags side by side you can see they're very very similar yet they do have a few differences so the first thing I want to do the first category of course is I want to talk price so we know these designer bags can be expensive so let's narrow down the price of each of them this uptown clutch right here retails as of today which is Easter Sunday it is April 17th this retails for $595 which I do have to say I feel like $595 for a YSL bag is a really really good deal so this one comes in at under 600 and then this one right here this comes in at $745 now this one is a little more expensive um, as you can see it is a wristlet whereas this one is just a clutch so for this particular category if we're just talking about price the uptown clutch wins this category by about a hundred bucks okay now the next category is probably one of the most important it is going to be what fits so what I'm gonna do I'm going to spin around and I'm gonna share with you what fits in each of these bags and we will pick a winner okay here is the uptown clutch you can see the beautiful shiny leather with a couple little marks on it from my nails but you can see it's a really, really sleek design and then on the inside there. So let's go ahead and I brought a couple of things, a couple of necessities. So I am filming this portion on my phone so I do have my case to pop in there. I do have the iPhone XR so you can put that in there. Then I also have a uh, YSL card holder that I'm gonna you know, pop down in there. I have a mirror. I have some perfume. This is the little Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Then I also have some lipstick. How cute are these cases? 
And then I do also have my Recto Verso, which I like to use as a wallet slash key holder, but if I were to put this in there, it would really, really bulge. So I'll just show you what I mean. So I stuffed that in there, but you can see like it won't close. Well, it does, but it keeps popping open. So let me take this out. So I think this will kind of be at capacity, but you can see that I have it in there, but with that stuff, it kind of bulges a little bit. It doesn't look bad, but you kind of lose out on that sleek design. So that fits everything except it does not fit my recto verso. So it does have your necessities, lipstick, fragrance, have a mirror. I have a card holder. Then I also have my phone. Okay, so good amount. So now let's go ahead and let's see what the YSL wristlet can fit. Okay, so here is the YSL wristlet and you open it like so, and you can see there is quite a bit of space. So let's start with my phone, the iPhone XR. Here is my Recto Verso. Let's pop that in there. My card holder can pop back there. My mirror I can pop in there. Lipstick, pop in there. And then I have some perfume, which I'll pop in there. Or you know what, let's just kind of pop it on front. It looks like there is a little more space if you wanna put uh, a little more, like maybe another lipstick, but I probably wouldn't put too much more. And then you close it. And you can see what I mean, like when you close it, it's easier to close when you have stuff in it. So there it is. It does pucker out a little bit, but not too bad. But this one, as you can see, it does fit the Recto Verso, which I, if I were to put the Recto Verso in the Uptown Clutch, it would have puckered out so much that I wouldn't have been able to close the bag. So for this particular category, if we have the wristlet compared to the Uptown Clutch, even though offhand it looks like the uh, uptown clutch is larger because it is that sleek design and this one is a little more thicker as you can see this one fits more so for this particular category it will go to the wristlet okay, let's talk about ways to wear okay so let's talk about this uptown clutch right here so as you can see off the bat you're like it's just a clutch so you can kind of there's only like one way to wear it but I'm gonna say that's not true so you can you can hold it in your hand like this and use it as a clutch or what you can do you can get a chain and you can wear it as a shoulder bag so in my mind this bag has two ways to wear it you can wear it as a shoulder bag kind of a short or a long shoulder and you can also carry it so what you can do there are some organizers that you can get where you can attach the chain but keep in mind if you don't have an organizer what I've done is I have just purchased a chain this one right here is from organize my bag but you can really get it from anywhere and all you really have to do if you don't have an organizer is just put it under here just put it underneath of here like this close it and you can see it kind of converts into a shoulder bag. So I will insert like Monchat so you can kind of see what it looks like. So you can wear it as a shoulder, depending on the strap you have, you can wear it as a short shoulder or a long shoulder. And then if you don't want to have the strap, you can just carry it as a clutch. So for this particular bag, there are two ways to wear it. And as I stated, it I would recommend getting, there is an organizer you can get that you put on the inside in which you can then attach the chain to the organizer but I don't own one so it this actually does the job I wore this to my friends uh, bachelorette party and I I actually wore it both ways I carried it as a clutch and I also did have a chain um, on it as well so for this particular bag there are two ways to wear so now let's talk about this one right here so this one off the bat what you can do is you, you can remove this wristlet and you can just carry it as a clutch by itself. If you don't want to carry it as a clutch, you can put this little wristlet strap back on. You can just kind of carry it as a wristlet. And then the third way, you can actually do the same thing. Number one, you can either get an organizer that just kind of pops on the inside of the bag and then you attach the chain. If you don't have an organizer, you can just do what I did where you just kind of put it like this 
either leave the wristlet strap attached or you can remove it. So for this particular category of ways to wear, it's going to have to go to the wristlet because there are three ways to wear, whereas this one I only really saw being able to wear it as a clutch and a shoulder bag. Of course, I kind of, it's interchangeable. You can wear it as a crossbody as well if you get the longer strap, but this one is very versatile because this one you can wear it as a wristlet as well, which I absolutely love. And you probably can finagle some ways to wear this one as a wristlet, but this one, because it does have the little wristlet strap, it does make it extremely versatile. So for this particular category, it's going to go to the wristlet. Okay, now let's talk about a category which I think is pretty important when it comes to bags and that is the bag casual or dressy? Can you wear it both ways? And of course, like any bag, you know, it's kind of your preference and how you wear it. But let's start with the wristlet. Because of the very smooth, glossy finish and kind of the streamlined over look of this, I personally feel this looks best when you just kind of wear it when it's you wear it with a more dressy outfit so if you're going to a special occasion you know like i wore a nice pair of pants and a nice top to a bachelorette party and i carried it as a clutch or you can wear it to a wedding so i definitely think for this particular clutch it definitely is a little more suitable when you wear it dressy just mainly because of the smooth finish and the sleek outline of it. I think this looks great dressy. Of course, you can wear it casual, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. Whereas this bag right here, because of the versatility of it, because it does have the wristlet strap and because of the look of it, I think that this bag looks nice if you wear it with a dress. You can wear it with like a charrette party outfit. And then in addition, you can even just grab this if you're wearing jeans and a white tee and you have this wristlet. So I think for this particular category, as far as like wearing it casual or dressy, I think this one offers more ways to wear just because of like the chevron print. This one is more sleek and this kind of has, this kind of screams more of like an elegant look as opposed to this one. Now, of course, this is just my opinion. So if you do own this bag and you want to wear this casual, then you definitely do that. But just for the fun of the video, in my personal opinion, I definitely think this one is dressier, whereas this one is a little more versatile and you can wear it with multiple outfits, multiple styles, multiple events. Okay, now let's talk about durability. So of course I don't, I haven't had the bags the same amount of time. However, I have had them both long enough to kind of see like pet peeves about them. Now I'm gonna say this one, I have had it for quite a bit, but you do have to be careful with the smooth leather that you don't get any like little fingerprints on it. I don't know if it's going to pick up, but I have a couple little like nail scratches and nail marks on it. So even though it looks great, it looks beautiful. I think because this leather is the pebbled leather, I just know from my experience in my collection that pebbled leather lasts so long. It's so durable. I feel like I'm not gonna have to baby this bag at all. Whereas this one, because of the smooth leather, I do try to be a little more careful with it. Now I haven't had any issues so far, but I just feel like this one is a lot more durable. So if we're talking about durability in that particular category, I'm gonna have to give it to the wristlet. Now I want to talk about some of the pet peeves that I have with each of the bags. So this bag, it is beautiful, it has a glossy finish, but I don't know, it the only, the thing that really bothers me is when you put stuff in it because it is such a thick thin bag, it will kind of tend to bulge a little bit. So it doesn't have that nice sleek appearance when you put stuff in it, you also really can't fit that much into it. So that is kind of a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Other than that, I think this is a really nice clutch. Let's talk about this one. A pet peeve of mine that I have is, as you can see right now, this bag is not full. So sometimes I find that it is a little bit of a pain to close. So you can see, I'm like having to really, really push to close it. If the bag is full, you don't have that problem as much. But I would say other than that, I don't really have any other pet peeves with this. This can fit a good amount. It's versatile. That is only the main thing. I do love this leather too. The pebbled leather is so durable. So I think between the two of these, I have more pet peeves than this one than I do with this one. The only negative I have to say about this one is like when you're closing the button sometimes, it's hard. Whereas this one, it doesn't fit that much. It's 
not as versatile and then it does tend to kind of pucker out a bit the more you put in here. Okay, so now it is the moment of truth. Let's tally this up and let's see which bag is taking the cake. Okay, so it looks like coming in with one point, it is the wristlet for the price. This one does come in around $105 cheaper. Four points, you have this baby. This one fits more. It is more versatile, more ways to wear this bag. As you saw in the mod shots, you can wear this casual or dressy and because of the pebbled leather, it is extremely durable. So for this comparison between these two bags, I do have to admit, I love both of them. I really do. I would probably get a different color in both of these, but if you guys are asking me my honest opinion on which bag I prefer and which bag I like better, I would say invest the extra hundred dollars in this one this is such a great bag and it fits more than you would think like right off the bat it looks like this one is bigger which it is longer but this one fits so much more it fits your necessities whereas this one the more i put in it as you could see it tends to kind of pucker a little bit so even though this one is a little pricier i would definitely go with this one because like i mentioned in my unboxing video if you didn't check that out make sure to do so far i got this one far fetch and far Fetch has a lot of coupons. I was actually able to save about $100 on this bag, so I got it for the same price as this one. So always be on the lookout for coupons. So I definitely would recommend this one. As I stated, it can fit more. It's extremely durable. It's very versatile. You can wear it casual or dressy. It's such a good bag. It really is. So I would love to know your thoughts. If you guys own both of these bags, which one do you prefer? Of course, as I stated, I do love both of them and it's up to personal preference which you choose, but if you're asking me my personal opinion, I definitely think you'd be better off investing a little more in this one because you're gonna be able to use it more frequently than this one, whereas I feel like I only tend to reach for this for really, really special occasions. So I hope that helped you guys. I will be sure to link both of these bags down below. It is nice because these bags both come in so many different colors. I am so happy that I got this one. There was also another one. I think I told you guys it had like the quilting. That one looked beautiful as well. But because that one kind of resembled my envelope bag a little more, I thought that this chevron print would be best. And it saved money because I thought about getting the envelope bag like this one you know the shoulder bag but I'm like that was like double the price so I'm so happy I opted for this one this has pleasantly surprised me the only negative again with this for me personally is when you go to close it sometimes you have to find really find the button but other than that I love it so I hope this helped you guys if you are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.